Welcome to this presentation on the latest structural BIM technology for CSC's Orion version 17 and Autodesk's Revit 2013. Orion is a BIM modeling solution for the code compliant design of concrete structures. Orion and Revit models can now be synchronized together, dramatically improving design workflow and productivity between the engineer using Orion for his structural design and the Revit modeler producing BIM documentation. In this demonstration we will show how a concrete structure modeled in Revit can be synchronized with CSC's Orion. Here you see a model in Revit containing the concrete structure as well as architectural details such as doors, windows and staircases. Complex column shapes such as hexagons, octagons, U and L shaped columns can be synchronized to Orion with ease. To exclude elements such as infill panels, ensure Revit's command enable analytical model is unticked. When creating any Revit structure model, it is important to consider connectivity. Use Temporarily Display Analytical Model Categories. This will show you the analytical wire properties only, where the connectivity can be adjusted to suit. To synchronize the concrete structure with Orion, go to the Add-in tab and choose CSC's Integrator. CSC's Integrator is a free download available at csworld.com. Integrator is in a wizard style and will guide you through the integration process. On the next page you can choose to import or export from Orion. This is for the first time or as an update. Here we will choose to export for the first time. The next page allows us to choose which elements we wish to communicate to Orion. For example, we may choose to send the grids and levels only so we can set out the structure in Orion rather than Revit. The following page audits all the objects and materials in the model and intelligently maps them across to Orion. Next we choose a name for our transfer file. Here I'm going to use the name PASS1. This will create a CXL file which then can be communicated to the Orion user. Switching to Orion, to import the CXL file from Revit, we go to the File menu, File Import and choose Import from Revit Structure. On selecting the import file, Orion will replicate the objects as created in Revit. Once in Orion, the engineer can now consider the design of the structure. On the second story, we will add some additional beams. Note Orion breaks each beam for you when you cross over a supporting member. Next we will add a curve beam to the front of the structure. An important engineering consideration is the placement of slabs and hence the distribution of floor loading as these will depend on the design philosophy. For example, engineers will need to consider topics such as yield line distribution, finer elements and pattern loading. All of these automated within Orion. Moving to level 3, we will now add, delete and amend some of the member details. Here you can see additional slabs added to the floor. We're now deleting four beams from the floor. and we're now going to amend the size of these two selected beams. These have been changed from 600 deep to 500 deep. Next we're going to change the size of this selected beam from 600 deep to now 750 deep. To demonstrate additional functionality we have also now changed the ground floor to a flat slab construction and added sloping beams to the side of the building. Orion can now be used to design the structure to a chosen code of practice. As well as analyzing design the structure to code, Orion will also design and choose all the appropriate reinforcements for all beams, columns, walls, slabs and foundations. 
Reinforcement configurations can be predefined in Orion, including topics such as curtailment and lap lengths, all in line with the chosen code of practice. Full finite element analysis can also be considered by the engineer for the design of floor systems such as flat slabs. At any time the Orion model can be synchronized back with Revit. To do this, go to the export option and choose export to Revit structure. Here we'll create a new transfer file, in this case we'll call this pass2. This can then be sent to Revit. Whilst the engineer has been working on his design in Orion, the Revit modeler could continue to work independently and be refining the Revit model. For example, here you see an additional wall being added to the model. Before synchronizing the changes made in Orion back to Revit, we have a choice whether to synchronize the slabs. Sometimes it is not appropriate to synchronize slabs due to the differences in the physical detail, such as curbs, rises and falls, and service holes. In this example, however, we have chosen to use the details of the slabs from Orion and have therefore removed the old slabs from the Revit model. To import the changes from Orion, we open CSE's integrator again, this time choosing update existing, and we map to the new integration file that we previously called pass2. Next we are presented with further options to allow us to include or exclude grids, levels, slabs, beams, columns or walls. In this example we will ignore the amendments made to the grids and levels. Next we check the mapping of objects prior to Integrator running a comparison report highlighting any differences between the two models. In this report we can clearly see three beams have changed size and three beams have been moved. The Revit view is now refreshed and the changes made in Orion have now been incorporated within the Revit model all automatically and without compromising any of the other objects. To help manage the inevitable changes, the Revit model can be colour coded to show the new members in light blue, the modified members in dark blue and the unchanged objects in red. The reinforcement drawings created in Orion can also be referenced with the Revit environment using the link CAD command. 2D drawings can be pulled in independently or where appropriate combined with views of the model as demonstrated here with the slab reinforcement. For more information, please visit us at csworld.com.